Today's Thursday, September 13, 2018, 5.30 p.m. We call our city commission meeting to order. Honorable Bob Bone will lead us in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we're grateful to thee for this evening we have to meet as our uh, city officials and our staff and directors to discuss the city budget and the needs of Leesburg. I ask you to bless us and guide us as we make decisions and, and uh, talk this evening about the, the needs and and uh, what we should do with uh, with the budget. Uh, we ask you to bless those that, uh, uh, in Leesburg with the things that they they need and strengthen them and uplift them. And we say these things in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm going to announce the name of the taxing authority, the rollback rate, and the millage rate to be levied. So. No, that, you know, this is obviously the, uh, uh, open the public hearing, and then, yeah, open, go ahead and read it. Name of the taxing authority, the city of Leesburg, Florida, the proposed millage rate of 4.2678 is 2.26 higher than the current year rollback rate of 4.1736. The millage rate to be levied, 4.2678 mills per 1,000. On July 23rd, the city commission approved the tentative millage rate of 4.2678 mills per 1,000. Whereas the proposed budget was developed using 4.2678 mills per 1,000, therefore the tentative millage rate of 4.2678 mills per 1,000 represents a 2.26% increase from the current year rollback rate, which is attributable to additional expenses and is considered a tax increase under TRIM guidelines. Are there any public comments in regards to the adoption of the tentative millage rate? Okay. We now have a resolution adopting the millage rate of 4.2678 per 1,000 taxable valuable value for the fiscal year 2018-2019. Would someone like to introduce it? Yeah, before you jump into that, let me but have your di we, we skipped the discussion of the proposed aggregate mill rate. Okay. I mean, if you guys don't want to hear the debrief, I'm good with that. No, just <laughs> as long as you're going to hit upon so that everybody knows and yeah, gets on the TV the fact that go ahead and discuss it's because that. Okay, the economy just, has a I'll improved. be real brief on everything. Um, you know, we've talked about this a million times. The general fund is um, what is about 26 million, I think, is the total number. Um, the millage rate stays the same, which at pursuant to the resolution is a slight increase. In, in microscope, it, can, it, it includes a 3% salary increase for all city personnel, effective October 1. Uh, it increases our full-time staff to 478 full-time employees, which is one net new position, but we made several changes in there. The, bu the budget does not include a public information officer, and then it adds, and it also, let me take give you the takeouts first. It doesn't include the public information officer position and it eliminates way down on the bottom six positions from the communication department which of course we sold the utility. So those actually um, most about half of those employees actually matriculated back in to the workforce. So half of those employees stayed employed with the city. And then we added the operations manager position, the crime analysis, an extra code enforcement officer, an executive aid and fire. We did, we had the discussions. Uh, there was a request for two planners. We added one. Um, the a gas equipment operator and the gas service tech, those are gas related growth things with the villages. So all the new minus the old out, one net new position. Um, the budget also reflects, the general fund budget also reflects year two of the ratified CBAs for the police and fire. Uh, we also, as we did because we had the little bit of the tax increase with going to the current rate, we also decreased electric rates, $1.28 for the first thousand per kilowatt for residential. 
Uh, we talked about the increases in the health insurance funds, the employee and the city contribution, um, the increase, the notable increase from going from about the 24 to the $26 million budget is really the shell game with how we did the discretionary sales tax um, and then the communication utility being gone. The total budget, uh, all funds in, is $168 million. The lion's share of that, as always, is the electric at 41%, the governmental funds at 25%, and then the others break down as you see above. That's a, a repeat of the pie chart. Capital projects are as listed here. And then um, just as a summary and, and the recommendation, the budget does have a surplus of 416. This is the, this is the quote unquote nine options that we kind of left off with. I'm gonna go straight to my recommendation and then review those, those options with you real quick. My recommendation, um, is to keep that surplus of the 416 in capital projects or to allocate it over to the community center project. Here's the reason. The biggest thing that we're getting into now that we didn't know um, a few months ago was the steel industry. Uh, the Evergreen is working to get to the point to where they can give us the certified number on what the project is. Since then, what's happened is really the the, the trade war with China, uh, with the, the president, and this is, it really has impact. The, the trade war with, uh, with China, the changing in steel prices has really put the steel industry in flux, and that's actually creating a shortage, increasing cost of steel. So cost of steel right now is a variant somewhere between three and four hundred thousand dollars in the project. Um, and we, it, because of that uncertainty, um, would like a little more cash to play with on that project. So I would say take that surplus, put it to the community center project. That would be my recommendations. Um, the options we talked about was use the rollback rate. If you use the rollback rate, that only costs about 108,000. I'm recommending uh, option number two. Option number three would further reduce electric. I scratched uh, number four because we did add the one personnel. We had some discussion about what we wanted to do with Lakefront TV, some maybe a, an additional 75. That was kind of the quid pro quo with the PIO position. Uh, we talked a little bit about uh, the gas transfer. We increased that to do more maintenance to, to, to skin the cat a little bit. There was the conversation on the library. Uh, the, to go f seven days a week open at the library, that, that cost estimate was 122,448. Mind you, that's two days. That would cover Friday and Saturday, so you could split that one even a little bit more and come with, with half. Um, now, Commissioner Bone uh, had, had talked to me, like, if, if you don't mind, let me put this out on the table. Um, he has talked to me on and off and um, uh, about potentially creating a facade sign landscape residential housing rehabilitation program. Mike and I have been in the process of, of bringing, writing that program up, bringing it to the commission for full consideration. If the commission would want to do such a program, you may need funding for that to certain levels. I know it, that one's kind of hard to talk about uh, because we don't have the, we don't have it written up yet, but that could be another place to put some of the surplus monies. Um, so with that, that's my budget presentation for fiscal year 19. Comments for the commission? I don't want to see the money, additional money, go to the commu community center until we find out where this steel problem is going to fall out. Um, I'd like it to remain in surplus for right now because I'm afraid that if we transfer more money over, there'll be additional requests for more money, more money, more money. So right now, I just want to save that. Right, right now, I have it in the general Yeah, that's, that's, what we, that's what we would do. Okay. We, we put it in the general fund so that when we come back to you and say, hey, we need this, be, yeah, but at least some then of it's there. Not a, right, you know, we don't, and, and then we wouldn't want to put it in that fund and spend it on something different. Exactly. So, exactly. but I just a, a, like an emergency cushion so if it does leak out, you can grab it without impacting right. a bunch of other stuff. That, so, so that's that's, that's the fine. recommendation. And, and if I can just real briefly on what on the, what Al just touched on, what I'm thinking is is that you know as an incentive to try to help improve our 
conflicts of our neighborhoods, we would designate some of those, like maybe stock subdivision or the area, um, uh, Susan Street or you know other, so designate some areas where we would do like a matching grant of like five thousand dollars or something to um, for homeowner for homeowner owner occupied homes, and and maybe even possibly you know as an incentive to help people to tr um, take their rental property and convert it to owner occupied home. That if they would do it within like a year or something, that maybe they could be eligible. Some some general idea like that to um, to to try to um, just dress up the, our neighborhoods a little a little bit and help people out to do some things that maybe that they they put off doing. I know that just that's just a seed. While you're uh, planning something like that, please make sure that you keep a checklist, a confirmation list, so that the money's not going out and we're not seeing the work being done. Just yeah, like you did with the business. Yep, it would be all like the reimbursement okay. based. Yep. Thank you. <coughs> Any comments from the public? Just, I, I just, you know, oh, there is somebody coming. Push it. I'm Pat Atley, and I'd still like to hold out. Of course, I'm not in favor of what you're doing down at Venetian Gardens. I still want it to be a park, so you know I have a negative point on that. But I'm much in favor of one day, Friday, of, for the library, because I have seen, and over the years I've used the library as it's transitioned from just a book checkout place to now it serves and does everything. And the youth that have been nurtured over the summer, to me that is worth millions of dollars because they're getting a foundation in um, being civil to each other, good manners, and it's just a fine place for them to be. And I'd like to see at least one more day, Friday, being available for the, the current uses of the library. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, Deborah Dabney. And my question again is the consideration of the Friday. And like um, Mr. Minner said, that the, if you cut it in half, I think it's about, it rounds out to about 68000 as opposed to $122,000. So, and the library is very well used. And again, like I mentioned before, it's not just a pl place where you check out books. It is almost like a community service center. The library provides programs and service, all kinds of services for all ages. So it's not just the youth, but it's everyone here in our wonderful city. So please give consideration to the additional day for that jewel on Main Street, the library. Thank you. So, so, so Al, between now and, and next hearing, we have the full commission, well, almost the full commission here. Um, what impact would that Friday do? I know you got six, eight thousand. So instead of the well, four, sixteen, we'll have three plus for the increase in steel. Is that where we'll be at? Yes. Three, four. Yeah, two. yeah. And the four, sixteen. By the way, the four, sixteen also went up. That's not in the in the. We got to revise that before the end. There's the eighty thousand of new revenue from the the um, SRO. Oh, that's, nice. that's that's how that got up to four, sixteen. Yeah. That's and so yeah, so that's exactly what you do. The surplus, if you if you did the extra day at the library, the surplus would go down sixty one, so you'd be sitting somewhere around mm -hmm. three thirty, forty, whatever the math is, three fifty. And I'm I'm fine with Good Friday and I mean we still goes up I think that we can cut somewhere during the year, but um you know we got, I know it'd be hard to come back and cut the Friday, but I think we hope we can find sixty thousand we can cut in the budget for for the year. But I'm I'm personally I'm fine with Friday. I agree, absolutely. If we can make it work, I, I would do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, with that consensus of the majority <laughs> of the commission, we'll go ahead and we'll we'll modify the budget to put the, the, the additional day in there. And on the 24th, when we do second reading, we'll, um, we'll vote on it. Yeah. So, but, and now having said that, now with the Beacon College use of it, so the library is shut, is it it's shut down on? On Friday, on Friday and Saturday. Friday and does, Sunday. Does 
does that affect them at all that it's closed on Friday? Is it something that has been a concern of Beacon College? And, I think Beacon, I, you know, Lisa can speak in more detail. Lisa, you want to address that? No, and the reason I'm asking is there, if, if it's important to them, is there any contribution at all we could get to them for adding that, uh, that fifth day? Um, um, Lucy library. Gangoni, library director. And I have talked to uh, administration at Beacon College, and they would love if we were open more hours. Their students do come to our library. They do a lot of group study, which is great to see. They use individual study rooms, and they don't necessarily have that on their site um, as readily as, as at our site. So Fridays would be great. Is, it, yeah. is that something we can at least I'll, I'll post them to Dr. Haggerty. Um, you know, we'll, we'll modify the budget and see and we'll see what see what they can do. Thank you. So, item four is a resolution adopting the millage rate of four point two six seven eight. So, I'd like to introduce that resolution. I'll introduce and ask it be read by title only. <coughs> resolution of the City Commission of the City of Leesburg, Florida, tentatively adopting four point two six seven eight mills as a fiscal year 2018-19 millage rate for the city of Leesburg, Florida, representing the current year proposed aggregate millage rate of 4.2678 mills, which is 2.26% more than the current year rollback rate of 4.1736 and providing an effective date. Move for approval. Second. Second. Move a proper second discussion. Discussion from the public. Roll call, please. Commissioner Dennison? Yes. Commissioner Bone? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Christian? Yes. Number six is announcing. She bringing these to oh. announce. Oh, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. We just need to. Yes, announce the tentative of Dr. Millage rate. Um, I think we need oh. your. Oh, we're on five. I think we're on five. On five? Resolution. Yep. Okay, resolution tentatively adopting the fiscal year 2018 2019 budget. I'd we'll like to introduce uh, that resolution. Introduce and ask it be read by title only. Resolution of the City Commission of the City of Leesburg, Florida, tentatively adopting the fiscal year 2018 19 budget for the City of Leesburg, Florida and providing an effective date. Move for approval. Second. Any discussion from the Commission? From the public? Roll call, please. Commissioner Baum? Yes. Commissioner Dennison? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Christian? Yes. All right. All right. Now, ready. now Brandy. The tentatively adopted millage rate to be levied is 4.2678 mills per 1,000. The date to finally adopt the millage rate in the fiscal year 2018-19 budget is scheduled for Monday, September 24th, 2018 at 5.30 p.m. Thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> I'll take the heat. City attorney items. Nothing to not here. City manager items. We'll, we'll make those changes as modified uh, for the 24th. Thank you, sir. Public comment. This section is reserved for members of the public to bring up matters of concern or opportunities for praise. Issues brought up will not be discussed in detail at this meeting. Issues will either be referred to the proper staff or will be scheduled for consideration at a future city commission meeting. Comments are limited to three minutes, please. Yes, ma'am. Deborah Dabney, President of the Friends of the Leesburg Public Library, thank you all so much for giving us that consideration. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for your volunteerism. <laughs> Any other public comment? Roll call, please. Commissioner Bowen? Uh, nothing. Commissioner Dennison? Nothing, thank you. Mayor Pro Tem Christian? Nothing tonight. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. <laughs> all right. Thank you, everyone.